Hey guys, this is Derek from Pacific Coast Auto, and we're taking a look at a 2002 Forester SG5. So that's the four-wheel drive turbocharged EJ20 version of the Forester. This one with automatic transmission and 102,000 kilometers. Now I know that I shot another Forester recently that was on the channel, but this one has a few differences, and so if you're interested in these cars, take a look at this video as well. Okay, yeah, the engine condition seems to be in quite good order. The whole vehicle is super clean overall, and this is exactly the car that you want. 102,000 kilometers will keep the price down because that's considered pretty high here in Japan, but usually not so much outside. And if you can get one that's really clean like this one is, you can get a really good deal on them. Okay, so not much to say in here except for that was me. I opened it up to see if it was okay, and it was check the oil the oil is a bit low but not dangerously low and so when the, you receive the vehicle then uh, change the oil should be okay here's the turbo and you get the one turbo for the foresters it's only the legacies that get the twin turbos I do like the twin turbos but the single turbo is also really nice okay you're gonna lower the engine room hood I don't know what to call it today apparently and uh, Got to explain something. Oh, aluminum hood, yeah, nice and light. Okay, so last time I said, I think this probably has about 250 horsepower, but I said I didn't know for sure. And so I looked it up, because I, I don't like not knowing stuff. And apparently this one is down to 220 compared to the previous generation, which was 240 or 250, depending on the model that you got. 250 was for the STI 2 version only. Okay, so this one here is down to 220, and I'm guessing that not much has changed, and it actually has the same amount of power, because Japanese manufacturers love to pretend when it comes to that. Especially Subaru knew that they were going to make a real STI version out of this one, and so they need to have a difference in the uh, mileage, or not the mileage, the power between the two, and so they downgraded this one only on paper so that uh, the STI could look like it's more powerful. Perhaps the STI is somewhere around 300 horsepower, but still would be rated at 280. I don't know, this is all just speculation, but officially they say 220 horsepower for this. Okay, so let's take a look at the condition of this one. 2002 Forester XT, oxygen rate 4B, 102, 491 kilometers, automatic. Uh, alloy wheels, power steering, power windows, VDC. That came out first on the generation of Legacy that is right there. And VDC is Vehicle Dynamics Control. Basically, it's like a stability control system. <laughs> Here's a funny note. Doesn't come with owner's manual. Wow, thanks for letting us know. Okay, so uh, report interiors dirty, rear spoilers peeling, door mirror covers peeling you can see here okay and wheels scratched which they're really not scratched that badly and then if you look at the body there's some minor scratches and dents and then a3 here now a3 is a huge scratch usually it's kind of like the scratch that you get from keying a car on purpose and this car is not as bad and I think we got really lucky because an a3 will definitely lower the price and this car is either easily repairable or you could probably still drive it without even repairing it. These dents here, there are a couple of them. They're not that bad, but because it's a U1, I was kind of expecting a little bit less than that. Okay, so let's do the once around of the car here. This generation of the Forester looks great. And with the turbo, you can run away from everybody on or off road. So, Big fan of these Foresters. Would love to have one myself. Um, they fit five people fairly nicely. In, you know what's funny about this? Inside and outside, they're kind of the exact same size as the Legacy. They have a higher roof, but that's pretty much it. You don't get much bigger on the outside or cargo room than the Legacy on this. Ready for JDM tree action. There we go. Somebody named the tree, actually, in a comment, and I can't remember what they said, but I wanted to start calling it by that name. Uh, okay, so, super clear headlights on this one. That's good to see, because those plastic headlights can turn yellow and fade pretty quickly. Comes with the hood scoop for feeding your intercooler, so you can get some more vroom vroom. 
nice circular fog lights give it a really cool look down at the bottom and the big grill reminiscent of the more modern Subarus. Okay, so now take a look at, here's the A3, and there's these plastic pieces that stick on to the body of the car that have been scratched and touched up with color match paint. So, there are a lot of them, and that's why you got an A3, but they're not really that visible. I mean, of course they are visible, but if you look at the whole car, it's easy to not notice them because they're not in the area that attracts your eyes right off the bat. That being said, you can also pop off those silver panels and have them repainted a lot easier than you can either a door or a fender. So, there is that. Kind of cool here, signals in the mirrors, that would have been a standard thing on this car and pretty cool back then. There's some fade on these caps, they're plastic, uh, and on the back ones. And then peeling on the back spoiler. All right, this one has a stock exhaust. Sounds good, especially when you tromp on it. And then the metal scuff plate here. It's made out of aluminum and they tend to dent pretty easily. This one here seems to be in really good shape, so the previous owners were not uh, dropping stuff on their tailgate. I really like the look of the tail lights in this one. But just the whole car looks really good for a crossover, small SUV-ish thing. Okay, VDC. Must have been a cool thing back then. Okay, so on to the interior here. Oh, I'm gonna show you the dents on this side. So this is where I was talking about the small dents. Subarus tend to love dents. Let's see if you can see them. Okay, that's all I'm gonna show you. We'll go into the front seat first. The interior is really clean and smells great. It has that lovely JDM car smell to it. Not in a bad way, in a very good way. Half fake leather seats. They're nice seats and I regret calling them fake leather because that makes them sound worse. I don't like leather seats that much and even if I do like leather seats Fake leather is a good material. It's not like it's super low quality just because it's emulating the look of leather. I like the feeling of these seats very much. Armresties. Now check this out. So there's some coolness here. Are you ready for coolness? Remember this is a 2002. Reverse camera. Woo! And something I've never seen on a stock stereo. So take a look. It says solid force sound system. There's a sub in the back on the stock stereo, but that's not what I was talking about. Check this out. That comes with the car, that's stock. Look at the way that that's molded directly into the console piece. Subaru was like, you know all those aftermarket remote controls that are really annoying and nobody really likes, but all the aftermarket audio systems have? Why don't we put one of those in our cars? Why would you have one of these? Look. Ugh, you're right here. It's not like you're across a room or something. I mean, sure, you could, you know, pass this to the backseat people, but they could also say, hey, can you skip the track? And then you press the button. It's, it's really not that hard. So, I don't know. It is weird. Okay, the improved steering is lovely on this. Love it very much. And the Momo sign is nice and bright. The triple gauges is very Impreza-like. Looks great. Brakes feel good. AC feels good, never been smoked in, JDM car smell, it's all very good. Okay, and still has the same one as the Legacy. Woo, that's fun. And this. And then there's a cigarette lighter adapter in there for charging your iPhone, if you want. And let's head on to the uh, second row. Ooh, VDC off. You know what's funny about VDC is I don't really know enough of what VDC does to know if it's worth it for me to turn it on or off. Okay, back seats, nice and clean. Carpets, nice and clean. 
Get some good size speakers in the door here. Six, six and a quarter, it looks like. Now, back seats have these cool little embroidery things for child seats. <laughs> it's cute. And there's four of them. And I think that you can uh, set these back more. Uh, maybe not. The older ones had the thing here for leaning them back. And what's this? I don't know. Oh, third uh, shoulder belt for the center seat. Hmm. Cool. All right, and into the trunk. And look at that, it has a rubber mat. This is Forrester on the side. Really like the design of that. I think it's cool. Rubber mats in the back are manly. And look at that, it's imprinted itself onto the carpet for even more manliness. And special cutouts for the tie down straps. And there's where your sub is. Yeah, it looks like a six by nine in there. Okay, still has the plastic on top of these. Is that true? Feels like it. Maybe not. Maybe it's just made out of plastic, but it looks good. And a nice wide opening to put things in that are not alive. I guess you could put your dogs in here if you wanted, but they don't have the uh, dog version. And I'm sure that they make this because they are Subaru. Right there is where they'll have the uh, cover that comes up to here. And then they'll have the one that goes up into the ceiling as well. Maybe. Ooh, child anchor. Hmm, doesn't look like there are clips for the ceiling to hook them up. But I know the old Forester had those and the Legacy does. Hmm. Okay, so basically that is the end of the SG5 walk around. Really cool car to have either as, I mean, this could be your personal car and you can enjoy it. It could be a second car and you can enjoy it. It could be a winter car, anything. It kind of fits so many different uh, different uses. And so, hope you enjoyed the walk around here. If you have any questions, you can post them in the comments section. And thanks for watching. Have a nice day, everybody.